I'm Sharon DeFries and this is my husband Dean and we're ranchers and foresters here on the DeFries Ranch. We have six generations of family that live on the ranch um, and our, our granddaughter being the sixth. So we really have two enterprises here. One is cattle, one is timber and this is an example of one of our plots of timber that we have. Uh, we have about 1127 acres of timber. We spend a lot of our summer months with the cattle and uh, we have a little more free time in the winter and we, sp we do a lot of our timber management during the winter time. So the genetics of the, of the trees are really important. So when we go to thin, we look for good genetics. And what we're looking for is a tree that's got good and straight, that doesn't have any mistletoe, um, and that the branches, uh, if we could get them where they don't have any lower branches, where they self delimb it's perfect too. So we try and get something like that, um, a good circumference. And you can see it in an area where the trees are all the same age. Some are, have grown better than others. They're good growers. And so we look for those and then the ones that aren't. A moment ago, the cattle were standing right behind us and they've disappeared now. They've moved on and, and uh, they are in a pasture right now of about 50 acres. So they got plenty of room to roam and they just like to be in their comfort zone and that's the way we like to have them. We are all antibiotic and steroid free and we also follow global animal compassion standards. And what we do on that is we treat our animals with compassion. Like Dean likes to say, we have happy cows. So a value that our family holds dear is sustainability. So we want this land to be sustainable for ourselves and for many generations to come. So we raise our cattle and our trees and try and run our lives in a way that's sustainable for future generations. And so we realized that we've been really blessed and what we wanted to do was figure out a way to share that. So we've been working with our school district and now um, Anyone else who really is interested, we've, we're dedicating an area of our land that can be used for science education uh, to just allow some of those opportunities for kids to get out and explore and learn and have some of the experiences that our children had. 